Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Anyway, I already got the ladder over here. This thing ain't spun in quite a while. Kind of hard to see my screen. Notice the tail is touching the trees right there. Yeah, Bubba, it's coming down today. So I got to get up there. I got my trusty bag of wrenches. Ooh, a zipper spider. Pretty. He's an animal, I'll leave him alone. And the wire comes out through the bottom and then goes on the outside up on top of the roof. Which means I've got to unbolt the wires up there before I start taking that down and then take the pole. You notice this pole is really bent. Pretty bent. So it hasn't spun in a while. And Jim notified me that that blade that's in the center of the screen. It's got a little bit of a curl on it. Let's see what I can do about curing that. I'll be back in a short. Well, there we go, I did it. There's the yellow cord. Uh, the orange cord is down there somewhere. And I disconnected the reed switch. And that wire went down. Tight squeeze. And this tube is full of baby spiders. There's some in there too. Oh my. But anyway, let's look at that little twist on the blades. See it right there. Not bad. Probably I'll soak it and then hit it with a hair dryer as I straighten it. Yeah, it looks like we got one spider L left inside there. Anyway, all of those, I took all the connections loose and all that good stuff. I have to rewire again. Eh, stop shaking hand. I know it was hard. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing down. Bring it down to the ground. Hopefully I don't get the bit. <laughs> yeah. Another thing. I noticed I give it a push. Yeah, a little tight. I don't think that's the bearings. What I think that is. All right, now back up. So I got a nice gap in here. You can see that as I turn it. But I don't have a gap here. Somehow this thing worked this way or something. So anyway, we'll try and see what happens there. If not, then I'll oil the bearings. It's good to give something maintenance once a year anyway. I think it hasn't turned in so long. Yeah, maybe a good spin will take her out. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. I never thought those things would last. Still haven't decided what to use for a pin, but I do have some uh, roofing tin like that over there. I can easily put up on it. All right, five trips later. Wire, tools, one thing after another. Last and heaviest piece. Oh, zipper spider and the rest I'll come back for the ladder. Ooh, it's hot. And back to the shop. I believe that's on record, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, anyway, the pole was hot. The wind turbine's hot. It's hot. 114 degree uh, heat factor, or whatever you want to call it. Whew. I got a lawn in about an hour and a half. I think I'm pretty much just going to straighten up and head on back, go knock out that lawn, and then I got a favor to do for Boomer on one of the rental properties. Yep. 
There's the cord. You know I didn't roll them up. Oh no. Heck no. There's the wind turbine. The pole. The white wire. Yeah, Bubba. It's all here. Ah. Man, there's a breeze in here like there isn't outside. I'm loving it. But anyway, all I gotta do is drill some holes over there and a couple brackets and put another pole up. I'm thinking about going with a heavier duty pole, so I'm not gonna finish up today. Anyway, uh, I'm Scott Brown. Green wind. Y'all keep smiling, have a ball. God bless each and every one of you and stay safe. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours.